So in this video, I'm going to show you the cleanest and quickest way to do the ends of your deck. And so I'm just going to, my overhang is going to be one inch. So basically, I'm going to take my speed square, I'm going to drop it in here and push it up to the joist. And then I, since I want an inch overhang, I'm just going to push my tape on it and I'm going to mark off an inch. I'm going to take it over to the other side, put that there, mark off an inch. And then I'm going to take, you know, if it was longer, I would use a snap line, but since it's short, I'm just going to use my six foot level. And I'm going to line it up on that line, line it up on that tick. And then this is a good little tip that a lot of people miss. Make sure when you put your pencil on that you hold it at a 45 degree angle in. And so, or even more like a 30 degree angle in. So then your pencil line will land right on the edge of whatever you're using as your straight edge. There's our nice line. Now I'm gonna take my saw. I'm gonna double check my depth. So we'll do it over here. So my depth is just below. So it's about, well, I don't know, an eighth below the line of the board. And now I'm gonna freehand cut it. Most people are pretty scared of this. It's really not that difficult. The hardest part is starting off. When I freehand cut, what I'm doing is, is I'm matching up this side of the tooth to the line. And I either pick the center of the line or the left-hand side of the line or the right-hand side of the line, and I just go with that. So I'm gonna put that right on the tooth about, oh, just an eighth of an inch away. And then I'm also gonna look at this right here, which is the zero mark on the top of the skill saw itself. And then what I, the critical part, if you go ahead and back up, is I'm gonna kick it up to speed and I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna keep my eye on the blade. And then, but then I'm gonna keep looking back between the blade and the and the and this right here. So I keep going back and forth, but I mostly keep my eye on the blade. And here we go. And then if you bring the camera right down here and try to get it really close as I'm making the cut so they can see. reason I grab it is it so it doesn't crack off and I'm gonna keep going so one thing I just want to tell you is if you look at this and you try to follow this like a lot of guys do as the deck boards vary in height it's gonna kick around a little bit so it's more important that you focus on the blade and just use that as a guide when you need it two tools to finish it off and use the sawzall with a steel blade not with a demo blade and then I'm going to use the plunge cutter with the wood cutting blade and the reason I like the sawzall it's a little faster and what I can do is I can use the angle of the blade on the line of the cut to help me make a cleaner cut so that's the right button So I keep it angled down. I don't cut it straight like this, I keep it angled down. Well, it is perfect as the other one, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna cut most of the top, I think, with the plunge cut blade. One mistake that I noticed people make is they don't look straight down on it, and so then they start like cutting at an angle because they're looking at it sideways, so. Got to look straight down on it. And to speed it up a little bit, I'm going to go back to the metal sawzall blade. And then it also helps clean it up because I can use the whole blade to, to use to match this line. 
battery just died right about at the right time though. And get it back up. Give it, blow it off a little bit here. Let's give it a nice little hit with the. I can see some minor imperfections in there, but you can see it's a pretty clean cut. And if you're trying to make those cuts, um, if you're trying to place the boards exactly in the right length, it just takes a lot longer. And a lot of times you're left with little variations in it. So this will actually is, in most cases, going to give you a cleaner look. Hope that was helpful.